let's talk about how to make your yearly review easier using AI. Everybody's talking about AI right now. Um, I'm going to join the club and just tell you that large language models have made my life so much easier. And I've been using these tools every single day and I've started to find a formula that works super well. And so you'll need something like ChatGPT, although any of the other tools out there that are similar will work as well. And we're going to break down how to make a yearly review process simpler and kind of less mentally taxing. Basically, we're gonna let ChatGPT come up with questions for us to put in our yearly review. And so starting with a blank slate, what questions should we ask? And what kinds of questions should I be looking for? And you'll probably go to the internet and start researching yearly reviews or annual reviews or retrospectives. And there's a lot of information out there. Although the type of questions are important, I don't find that being overly engineered about it or thinking about it too strongly really matters. And so we will let tools like ChatGPT answer that for us. And so you'll need your note-taking app. I use Obsidian. You'll also need a language model. I use a tool called Raycast AI on macOS, and I have some links in the description for a free month of Raycast Pro. So check that out. We're just gonna build a bot. And if you wait to the very end of the video, I'll show you sort of the formula for creating prompts of your own, but I'm just gonna give you my prompt today. And so if we look at my yearly review assistant, um, it's this ChatGPT4, and I boosted the creativity a little bit, and I just asked it this question, and this is the important part. You are a productivity coach. You will help me align my life with what's important and what's most important to me. I am doing a yearly review, and I will be reflecting on the last year and thinking about the year ahead. Give me a group of questions that will help me in each area of my life. Wait until I give you an area and you give me questions as bullet points in Markdown. And so because I'm using Obsidian, uh, that's a Markdown style application. And we can see here already, I can just say health and it generates questions regarding health. Like, did you maintain a consistent workout? Did you attend regular health checkups? What actionable steps can you plan to take and meet those goals for the upcoming year? So it actually thinks about both the past and the future. Same with finances, rating your financial wellness from one to 10, you can see both of these questions sort of start with a one to 10 scale. Did you stick to your budget? Did you increase your emergency fund? And so here we can also say like, maybe hobbies is important to us. And so what hobbies did I spend time on? Did I pick up any new hobbies? Did I drop any hobbies? Have your hobbies influenced other areas of your life? If so, how? And so you can see here, the questions are very good. These are really, insightful and helpful questions. A lot of this is due to the way in which we contextualize how we want it to talk back to us. It will take some time. It may take a few hours to complete these questions. Um, and if you get lost as to which areas of your life are worth taking the time to reflect on, um, I highly recommend Ali Abdul's Wheel of Life. I also recommend the Second Brain book, and so building a second brain, Tiago Forte talks about areas of your life as well. It just takes a little bit of time and reflection to think about the last year of your life. And I find that being able to set goals and priorities are really important. And when you just take a few hours of your year to you know, sharpen that area um, and focus, uh, it can be sort of immeasurable uh, when you take the chance to do this. And so I found that this process was much easier this year using AI to ask me the right questions. Um, and then it's a matter of connecting the dots and taking the time to decide what's important to you and to be sort of realistic with how things have been. More importantly, setting some realistic expectations for how the next year can go for you. And so I hope that helps. Um, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, comment how you're using AI and what you think would be like, what you would like. Um, and then finally, let's very quickly go into the prompt. And so the secret bonus prompt that I wanna show you is that if you can tell AI what role it plays, um, what purpose that it's serving um, in the context of the thing that you're saying, um, and so you can contextualize that purpose as well, and then you give it a brief set of instructions on what you want it to do, and this is typically what you would be doing. Um, and then finally, you set whatever additional conditions you might want, like outputting into Markdown. And so when you put this all together, you can see like you're a productivity coach, you'll align my life with what's important, 
And what's what's most important with me, um, doing a yearly review, right? That's the context. And I'm going to be reflecting on the last year and thinking about the year ahead. Um, and so then give me a group of questions. And so that's finally the instructions. I think most people just do this. And this will give you some good answers. But I find that when you give it some context and some purpose and you kind of give it some more information uh, that the tooling is much better at giving you useful and focused results. And so I really hope that that helps. Um, I hope to do more videos on AI and Obsidian. Um, I will be talking a lot more about my second brain and how I'm you know, managing information and knowledge and connecting my hobbies in the areas of my life and my projects. And um, I'll see you in the next one.